Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last tutorial, we guys saw about uh, the geometric series, the prog geometric progression using do loop and uh, the importance of kind parameter. Okay. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking into uh, a small topic which might may not be as of as important uh, may not be as really important as of now, but it might be very useful in the uh, very useful when you're doing a lot of file handling and uh, character handling and all. Okay, this concept is called as characters and strings. Okay. Now in this prog, I already written a small program over here, but doesn't matter. I'll explain. I'll walk you guys through what what the, what has been done here, but it's very simple. Okay, in this pro this program is defined for printing and uh, explaining how characters and strings work like. Okay, now what I have is that I have a program named strings dot I mean a file name program uh, strings dot f95 and the program name is strings. Okay, it starts here and uh, ends here. Okay, this uh, this we uh, program I already I b actually borrowed from the t previous tutorial I made on Fortran and uh, that that so that series became a little too big in each and every video so i thought of you know condensing it short and without ma without losing any integrity of, of data or something anyway go that's going on okay the program starts here with the as usual implicit none and then we define a character variable called as a now what a character does is that it's a variable that can store just a single character then this single character can be a symbol like you know your exclamation, ampersand, asterisk, hash, dollar, percentage, percentage symbol, caret, even a space. Okay, or it can store a single digit of a number from zero to nine, or uh, any alphabet. Either it's an uppercase alphabet or a lowercase alphabet. Regardless, it can store only a single, uh, single character. So that's the, that's why it gets the name a character. Okay, and then we have something called as a string a string can be called as an array uh, an array of characters to be short what a string is it is a collection of characters co placed continuously in memory and they act together uh, act as a single uh, variable okay now to define a string it's very easy what you a string a string is very easy what you have to do is that write the character uh, keyword and then with it and you have to include an attribute called as len and just like how we include kind attribute in the previous program, the, the attribute here is len, uh, which is short, which in short terms for length. Okay, and you have to set it equal to some value. In character, this the length value by default is set to one. Here you are given, you have to set this value to some other value based on your requirement. Now, in this character, uh, in th this value character variable b is actually a string variable. Which is length five, which in, uh, it means that this character can hold five. This variable can co hold five characters long strings. For instance, like this, like white within in single quotes. This is a six file uh, five character long uh, string. Okay, like this. Now, this is not the only way to define uh, or de uh, de declare or declare a variable. Uh, declare a string it, ca it has multiple ways the other way is that what you can do I'll just comment this out okay I'll save this the other way is that what you can do is that you can define you can write character and within brackets write the length like this five this is also the same as the above representation this is also the same what you do is that you just multiply character by a term called as with, a, with five meaning it's a five character long uh, string as simple as that and similarly uh, the last factor this is more easy because suppose if you were to define a character character like this as in the first case or the second case or the third case by default all the variables that will be defined along this line will be will be character arrays will be strings or character arrays of length 5 as per this example but if you want specific each and every I mean if you want each and every value va value to be to have a different uh, size then this is how it should be defined this will give a different value okay now because of this advantage okay if you look at this statement C becomes a character array of 6 value 6, pay, uh, six units or 6 it's 6 characters long D is a character variable, character array or a string of 10, 10 characters, 
is a string of three characters long okay we'll come to this array of string uh, declarations in a minute in a minute uh, in a minute now we define a here let's define b here okay we will define b here and let the let us define c d and e as it is here and uh, let's give some values over here okay now since a is a character which can store only single value i just give a value x b is a character having five value five i mean a string having five characters so i give a character call, name call as white now c is six six units six characters long so i give numbers a six digit number but it doesn't matter you can give characters also whereas d is 10 digits 10 characters long so i'm mixing and matching the uh, mi i'm mixing and matching a complex statement uh, in complicated statement with an alphanumeric statement with numbers alphabets uh, and symbols okay and e is actually three characters long and to, to show that this character also stores a space i have given a symbol i given this character underscore space underscore now uh, let's print uh, print all this to print all this i already written the print comments over here okay hope you guys can follow what i do i just uncomment all this using this option over here oh i oh, sorry i commented them again sorry let me just comment uncomment them come on yeah right click format uncomment lines okay now if i just compile this build this and execute this there you have it. A is printed as X, Y, y B is printed as Y, C is printed as number, the numbers, D is the character we gave here, and E represents the space also. To ensure that space has happened, I put a present, I, may, I put it in between underscores and it's getting printed uh, uh, over here. And uh, I've defined two character dimensions here, and that's uh, two characters, two string arrays, and there, there are, I define them here, then they're getting printed here, but we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, and now this is regarding characters and character array. This is regarding characters and strings or character arrays. Now let's go into, uh, let's come, I'll comment this out. Okay, by the way, if you guys noticed, commenting is a kind of a simple way to avoid certain character, certain sim, uh, certain lines uh, not to be included in the declaration of a program and all okay this but it, it's also used for not only used for giving information but you can also use to ignore certain statements while do while doing executions and all this might turn out to be really handy and if you guys want since there are no multiple uh, multi-line comments in fortran the best way is that you can use the advantage of the compilers okay for that purpose what you can do is select uh, select your multiple lines and click comment click uh, right click and then in format there's this option called as comment lines this will work pretty fine and if you just cl right click this again and i comment this yeah now i want to include these now let's go for character arrays now what a character array does it's it's also called as an array of strings so, sorry sorry I I mis I mispronounced it's string uh, array of strings. Okay, what this does is that this gives us variables that can store multiple uh, values at a time, multiple strings at a time. Here we noticed uh, array of character array of strings. Sorry, sorry, array of characters is a string which can store multiple characters at a time. Whereas array of strings is like the uh, next level next level or is this a second dimension or two dimensional character character array wherein you can store uh, multiple names or multiple strings with each string being a multiple series of characters okay now the basic definition for making a making a string is like this what you have to do is that you have to give the character to character ca keyword and then you have to set the length of it just like what you did here and then you declare a new declare the size of it how long how many values are how many strings are there using this keyword dimension now here i set the length to be 6 and dimension to be 2 so this variable str1 okay will have two strings each of six characters in length okay now this being said let's uh, uh, I ignored all this. Okay, to name them, what you have to do is that uh, you have to name them like this: string of string one, 
with the with the kind of uh, write write them like this and the first value of it is carom because it's a six letter word it's a six letter array and uh, uh, because I length the I set the length to be six so I write I write carom over here and also the second value is code with a space with a space and then, and then followed by ng this is actually I wrote it as coding but to indicate that there are space in the program it can it can accept space uh, along with it I'm giving the space intentionally okay and if you guys want to read the uh, strings okay you can use this command read and uh, you can uh, specify integer values or you can use a do loop to get the values one by one or depending on your requirement and we want to print them this is how you have to print yeah right you can you can just represent them directly like this all you have to do is that mention the value properly and uh, that's all you have that's all you have guys have here now let's see if uh, uh, let's get let's get them printed before you know uh, going to the other steps like uh, 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 okay okay sorry I declare this again so let me just you know uh, comment this line out comment this line out compile this build this and run this yeah first uh, string is carom second string is uh, code and uh, code space ng card space ng and the, as you have it okay now this is how strings work and you can you and maybe in the future programs we look at how strings and string arrays can be done used meticulously I mean used accordingly and then this is not the only the representation there are multiple there are multiple ways to define character arrays okay the there's the other this 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 dimension also works if you guys notice these are extreme exactly similar to how we define uh, character uh, array of ca array of characters or strings uh, array of strings is de 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 i mean de declarations are exactly the si similar exactly the same except that in, we don't have a dimension here but we have a dimension here to indicate that this is an array of strings and this this statement is also this is, uh, represents the same and if you guys want an equivalent of this statement wherein you can define multiple strings each of different lengths here you can define here you can define multiple string character multiple string arrays each of having different uh, sizes but the, but the only problem is that I mean each of different lengths but uh, all have the same dimension if there's I don't think there's a provision to change the dimensions as of now I haven't checked it yet. If there is a provision, I let you know. Uh, I let you know in the future tutorials. Okay. Now this way we define we define this, and if I just compile this, run the build this, and execute this, it works the same. We get the same result because these are identically, uh, though they are syntactically little different, they are, they do the same pro same process altogether. And uh, uh, there is this one more there is this one more thing I wanted to teach tell you guys. This is regarding uh, printing. This is regarding the use the usage of uh, uh, the usage of single quotes and double quotes, and how to use them use them accordingly. We I'll, I'll I'll tell this in the next tutorial because this video is getting a little too longer. And that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.